According to the Singapore Ministry of Health, close to 9% of the adult population on our island suffer from depression. In our fast-paced world today, it is easy for many people with depression to slip through the cracks of business and never seek help or treatment. My parents did not have a good relationship since I was young. Growing up, my dad hit my mom, he punched her, stepped on her stomach, and they quarreled basically every single day since I was in primary two. So as I grew up in that kind of environment, gradually I became emotionally shut down and I developed a deep sense of mistrust towards men and towards people. I came to CHC in 1999. In the year 2000, I slipped into depression. During those nights for two whole years, I cried every single night. I did not know why I felt so empty, so lonely, and I just felt rejection. I felt like there was no meaning in my life. During those nights, there were times when it actually got so bad, I even entertained thoughts of ending my life. 2002 was also the year Sun launched the crossover project. That year, she held her Sun with Love concert in Singapore and it was a very unique experience to me. I remember sitting in the concert and as Sun sang, I began to cry. Every song that she sang, the words in the song, the tunes and especially her voice ministered very deeply to my heart. And as I cried, at the same time I felt a sense of hope coming into my heart. When Sun began to share her testimony about how she struggled with depression and how God delivered her from depression, I told myself that if Sun could be delivered from depression and be living such a fruitful life for God, God can do the same for me too. In 2004, I went to SOT Year 2 and after half a year, I became a cell group leader. In January 2005, I came on staff to work as a full-time church staff. In particular, the last two years, I've had this great privilege of serving Pastor Kong as his secretary. In January this year, my parents eventually divorced. It was a huge blow to my mom after being married for 20 over years. So we had to quickly sell off our flat and I had to look out for a flat to rent for my mom, my sister and I. At the same time, my mom wasn't working. So it became very tough for me to juggle my family, personal life, ministry and work at the same time. During this tough period, Pastor Kong always encouraged me by sending me messages from the US telling me that Sun and him are praying for me fervently. Through all the ups and downs, God's faithfulness and steadfast love had always followed after me. Thank you Pastor Kong for being a great pastor, for being a great boss and for showing me that I can believe in men again and especially to Sun, thank you so much. You are the hero of my life. Because of you, I came out of depression and I'm living my destiny today. And most of all, thanks to God for always being faithful and for always being around for me. Praise God. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome the wonderful Cynthia Chua, my personal intercessor. Come on, give her a big clap as she comes. Hi, son. I just wanted to say, you know, I remember hearing about you at 16, how you saw a vision of yourself being asked by God to lay your own life at the altar. And God spoke to you to lay down your life and never to leave that altar. You were a youth then, but you are a woman of God now. And I can tell that, son, you must have obeyed even to the point of painful obedience. Thank you, son, for crossing over a decade ago. If you had not crossed over, I think I may not be standing here today. God used you to get me out of my depression. And whether it's coincidental or not, 2002 was also the turning point of my life where things started to go upwards. There are two things that God impressed in my heart about you yesterday, son. The first thing is this. He spoke to me about ripple effect. Ten years for most of the celebrities are just ten years of work done. But son, the 10 years that you have crossed over is not just 10 years, it goes into eternity. This ripple effect continues on. And I was curious and wondering why God spoke to me about ripple effect. And when I went to Google, <laughs> ripple effect is, some, is a situation where like the ever expanding ripples across water when an object is dropped into it, this effect from the initial stage can continue outwards incrementally. 
sand, you are like that object dropped into the waters of this world. It started here in City Harvest, but this is going to go on and expand in incremental ways. It's going to go all over Asia, go into China, go into all the world. So you're, you are going to be such a blessing to the whole world. You may not have seen the faces of those you have touched, but that day will come when we all stand before the throne of Jesus. You will see the proud face of Jesus telling you, well done, my good and faithful servant. But along with Jesus, you will see the faces of all those you have not known. You may not even have seen face to face, son, but they stand at the throne because of you. You will recognize them because you will see on their faces the common smile, the common gratitude. Second thing that God spoke to me about you yesterday, He wanted me to assure you, to let you know that He sees your heart. He knows your heart. Many who do not know you may have judged you, misjudged you, but it doesn't matter. I felt God wanting me to assure you that He knows your heart. He wanted me to let you know that He has not many children like you. You are one whom He is so well pleased with. You are His maid servant. He is tremendously well pleased with you. And in closing, I just want to share with you Robert Frost. He has this poem called The Road Not Taken. The last part says, Two roads diverge in the wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Thank you for choosing the road less traveled, son. Your song that touched my heart and got me out of depression, I can see the sun. I can see the sun with love. I can see the sun. I can see the sun with love. I run woman the Xing Li Mian Chu Xian Le Qing Tian. God will multiply to you the sunshine and the springtime you have brought to every single one of us. Thank you, Sun. Let's cross over. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Please give Cynthia a big clap.